hey guys it's your girl miss lee here good morning good afternoon or good night depending on where you are now if you're new to the channel or you're a returnee and you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel please hit the thumbs up and the notification so that you are aware every time your girl drops new content also guys you can stay connected with me via the gram i'll put my instagram handle across the screen now so i did say to you guys in my previous surgery video um, my nine month review check it out if you haven't done so already that i was going to do a quick video on the bbl cushion just because so much people have asked me like how did you use it did you get one da -da 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 -da. So because some people are at the start of their surgery journey, I thought, you know what, let me show you guys because it's you viewers who are asking the questions and just so that you are prepared and you kind of know what it's all about. Or even if you're going for round two, you never got a BBL pillow on round one. This is how it so works. So sorry guys for the noise, okay? It's a fan it's london summertime and it's hella hot it's 31 degrees outside and let me tell you something yeah i the ear i the ear i sweat out yeah so yeah. Um, so anyway it's hot so the fans on otherwise i'll be melting on camera and girl that ain't a cute look mm -mm. okay so as I said, with my surgery that I had, with the first BBL that I had, I didn't get a pillow and I just had to kind of do my own thing. With the second BBL that I had, I got a BBL cushion. Which... So with the BBL cushion, first of all, I just want to say, um, I got a bag, the, the BBL cushion came in a bag. I think I know where it is, but I cannot for the life of me be bothered to, to look for it. It's hot, man. I mean, I like it, it it. But the bag will look something like this, but obviously it's not plastic. But it will have the drawstring um, and the cushion just sits neatly in the bag, which I absolutely love because I didn't actually take my cushion out of the bag until I came home. Yeah, so for like hygiene reasons, I mean, bacteria, bacteria, bacteria seep through anything really, but it's still a little bit more protective um when it's in the bag you can still use the cushion whilst in the bag so when i came out of surgery they put the cushion underneath my my legs so they put the cushion underneath my legs i'm going to show you in a minute how you use it um but it was still in the bag which i thought was amazing and when you're traveling guys travel with your with that bag it is amazing if you're not given a bag if you can get like a jd sports if you're in the uk if you're not in the uk i don't know what kind of you could a shopping bag with a pull string you can fit it in there put it on your shoulder walking through the airport it was amazing because you didn't have to carry it wasn't like getting involved with all your other luggage i will also use this opportunity as we're talking about traveling with it do not if you're going to have a bbl if you're going to have any surgery do not carry a, a a handbag or a big bag i don't know what people call them but do not carry one of those just carry a trolley with four wheels because the lifting really affects you're very weak still you've just had major surgery the lifting affects you um you don't have the energy to do so and also it could mess up anything that you've got done so my advice will also be to use a, a pulley trolley you can also lay your bbl pillow on your uh, pulley trolley as well whilst you're going through the airport or you're commuting from point a to point b even when you get back to home you know it's just easy and we all know like traveling is uncomfortable anyway let alone traveling after surgery you just want to make your life as easy as possible anyways okay the famous bbl cushion all right so guys mine is nasty because it's like a year old like well i do actually know why it's nasty because this was my life for like over a month like it ugly but it came with me everywhere and yes so as you can see 
it's got the hump okay so that your legs sit in the dips this actually sits underneath your bum if you, you can see my demonstration now it sits underneath the bum okay so it sits in snug so if we turn it sideways yeah your bum hang your bum is down here i'll lift it higher the top of your thighs is in the dip okay the hump is i guess it's, well it's not i guess the hump is for in between your legs girl <laughs> But it comes in very handy um, for sitting and sleeping because it makes sure that your butt is not on the chair or on your bed. I have said again in my previous video, driving with this bad boy is, to me, it's not safe. It's not comfortable. I wouldn't recommend driving with it. I did think week four and a bit because I, I sat on it for five weeks but week four and a bit I was like I need to get to the shops I need to go and get my ish and I decided to put this on my seat and drive with it it just was very uncomfortable it just didn't feel right so I wouldn't recommend but I mean girl do you if it works for you honey mm -mm -mm. kudos you sit on the plane you would put your seat your cushion on the seat just like any other seat you put your cushion on the seat i would say if you're sitting on a sofa though put a cushion behind your back just because it's so awkward if you've just got this underneath your leg but if you're sitting on a plane this is how you would sit you would put the bbl pillow down and then you would literally you hold on to your hand rest and you just push your butt as far back as you can go okay so you will feel the seat and the bbl cushion at the back of your thighs and then you sit i did have help my friend was there she kind of held the, the 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 cushion down to make sure it didn't tilt as i was um sitting but then you sit making sure you do not sit on your butt you make sure your butt is in the dip that that's the space between the seat and the BBL cushion. Now, the way that this has been designed, it, it fits in a standard seat on a plane. Um, obviously, it could have been designed a bit better. I think because it's square either end, it, it can kind of come over a little bit, but it does fit standardly in, a, in the seat in a plane. The um, company who I went with, which was British Airways, they didn't have a problem with me sitting on it for takeoff or landing or during the flight it was a okay um i think most companies should be okay with it especially if you're going to famous places where you have where a lot of people go and have surgery like um turkey or dr like i'm sure they they're used to people passengers coming or back on the aircraft after surgery with their ish so yeah so if you're not supplied with a BBL cushion, I would suggest you buy one. You can get one from Amazon. I do believe they sell them on eBay as well. They sell them on different sites that sell um, like stuff, garments, etc. for cosmetic surgeries. I'm not going to big up none of them because I haven't personally bought from any of them. From Amazon, um, Amazon is a replicable, a repli replicable company to buy from so i would say buy it from amazon i'm not sure exactly how much they are but they're not going to be too expensive girl you're going to pay it if you want to keep your butt um but they're not going to be too expensive buy that and just put it in a bag uh because it's easy to carry imagine carrying this under your arm or it's long it's uncomfortable it's long don't do it to yourself when you sleep you do exactly the same thing when you lie down it goes underneath the thigh on your bed i can't do this on my bed because because i've got like the sheets and the cushions you're not going to really see the dip but there'll be a dip okay um and when i say a dip like a space between the bed and the cushion and that's where your butt sits so basically the cushion just creates height and space between whatever you're sitting on or laying on and you need to make sure that your butt is always in that space 
even if you were sitting on a recliner chair i know a lot of i've seen videos before and girls are like yeah i've got a recliner chair like you can sit on a recliner chair that's all good and everything but you still need to make sure that your butt is not on that chair you see as the chair dips it there still needs to be a space um now i don't know if it's because i also had a tummy tuck but my legs were really swollen and i have seen some people i don't know if they've had tummy tucks i just remember seeing previously through all of my research where they would use the bbl cushion and underneath their feet they would like wrap a towel roll a towel and they will place their legs on top and when i came out of surgery that's what they also did to me so that the blood can circulate through my body i would recommend that that's what you do especially if you've just come out of surgery it's very important just to um, make sure that the blood circulation is still flowing you've just had major surgery it is important okay that's another little tip for anyone who's planning on having surgery and the company that i went with i don't know well clearly everything is included in the price they didn't charge me extra for the bbl pillow it just came it was included in the price of the package so you want to also make sure that if the company does not provide you with a bbl pillow if that's not included in the package can you buy it separately from them or as i said you can check amazon or one of them places you should be able to find salt on monday but um yeah this is not something that i particularly paid separate for it came with it I, I do know someone else who that also had a bbl the same kind of time as me with a different company and they provided her with a bbl pillow it was included in the cost so it may be a thing that any everybody does i'm not sure but make sure you check it out because you will need a bbl pillow after your bbl that's that's a fact you just you just need it don't be like me when i had my first bbl how many years ago they didn't give me a pillow how the hell i just had to not sit on my bum and i remember coming home my sister-in-law picked me up and i was just like lying on my belly on my front in the back of her car and then like, i was just lying on my front for the duration of time i didn't actually sit because i wasn't able to sit that was very 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 like it was uncomfortable do you know what i mean so make sure you get a, a bbl pillow it just makes life easier and you can you know bring it everywhere you go for the duration of time that you need to use it for so also just another tip i wasn't I wasn't told this and obviously again as you know from my previous videos the issues with my bbl however i will say continue to wear your faha i have said that in all my videos continue to wear your faha you know as as long as you can and when i say as long as you can i'm not talking about like three months at least a minimum six months some people still wear their faha a year like 12 months 18 months 24 months and so on i wear mine um every few nights a week when i sleep some people wear theirs more than that um but wear your far heart because it really does help this gives it support that's what i'm trying to say so make sure you continue to wear your far heart as well while sitting on your bbl cushion and i just want to say thank you if you are a returning or if you're new to the channel for watching my videos i love sharing my experiences with you guys especially my cosmetic surgery journey because i feel that mm, you get a lot of videos i'm not knocking anyone i love everybody's video that i have watched because i do i can take something from it but i you know i i'm giving you my experience um me tell you no it's not all pretty it's not all rosy because as you guys know from my previous video you know my results isn't exactly what they should be however i'm still providing you with that information so that you can even make sure you get it right when you go or they get it right when you go or you do the right things and ask the right questions so guys thank you for watching my video i really appreciate it please guys do not forget i really need the subscribers so please subscribe please hit the thumbs up and the notifications that you are aware every time your girl drops new content whether that will be another surgery video a vlog 
a how-to video this is my lifestyle channel and i'm just here to share with you so guys until next time stay safe stay blessed you will see me soon take care bye